Hi guys. It's so um, embarrassing, it's so shocking that Roots is not going to get justice. It's so embarrassing that Roots, this S soldier, is not going to get justice for everything that have happened to her. Everything that she have come at, she has been crying out. It surprised me that her cries will not be held. For those who don't know the story, this lady came out after she had, you know, she survived everything she had been through being in the army. All the injections they gave her, put her in the coffin, handcuff her, beat her, rape her. This is happening in the army force, guys. This is why this country will not get better because every of the sector is corrupt itself. Look at what is happening with EFCC and so on. This lady came out to expose this soldier, this top officers who did this to her. She had been crying out even in her platform. She had been saying this. You know why? A lot of people have gone through this and they have, they, they have unlived them. But because this lady is still alive, that is why by God's grace, she can even say this. But a lot of things like this and even worse than this is happening in this army force. Nobody is hearing it. Now, after this lady have come out to say all this and she's still saying it, sharing her experience, to so my own shocking, the Nigerian army came out to say that she is mentally unstable. So everything that she is saying are all lies. God. They are coming out to say that roots, we should not believe her. She is mentally unstable. And I'm happy that Ruth is still alive. She also came out to expose everything. She also came out to reply the Nigerian army. Let me play it so that you can hear it. Gentlemen, that ex-private Ruth Ogulaye had been recommended for discharge on medical grounds since 2022. Imagine. But the Nigerian army, being sympathetic to its own, thought it wise to give her the best medical treatment hmm. possible, stabilize her before discharging her into the wider society. Hence, while the army was addressing the allegations of sexual harassment, further concerns about Ruth Ogunleye's conduct came to light. Her behavior both online and offline raised questions about her worsening mental health and emotional stability. Consequently, the Nigerian army referred ex-private Ruth Ogunleye for medical evaluation at the National Hospital in Abuja, following earlier assessments made by the Nigerian Army Medical Corps that suggested potential mental health concerns. This decision was taken to safeguard her well-being and to ensure that any action taken by the Nigerian Army was informed by a comprehensive understanding of her condition as advised by trained professionals. Guys, can you hear what the Nigeria army have come out to say? What they do, they, everything, all this pain that this girl have gone through, they just want to sweep it under the carpet. Do you know how many have been swept under the carpet that the society, the people are not hearing about? Justice for Roots. Now, Roots came out to reply officers. Um, for taking his time Um, um, before I say anything in this video, I will want to say a big thank you to the Nigerian Army and to the Army Speakman and Brigadier General Oye Machuku for taking his time to push to post me on all social media platforms, newspaper, radio station. It's not easy. That's to show how special I am. Yes. That's to show how powerful I am. I really appreciate. I think I need a standing ovation for that. And um, I was, it's no longer a news that I was discharged out of the army 15th June 2024. Uh, I want to humbly request that the Nigerian army 
published the article on the investigation that led to my discharge on all social media platforms, including radio station, all channels. Ah, uh, January January 9, 2024, I came on social media to complain on how I was harassed by Kone Ibi Abukarim, General Ibi Sholobo, Kone GS Ogo, how I was raped, uh. how how I was injected with Lakati injection, how mm. I was put inside casket, how somebody, how Kone Ibi Abukarim pointed go at me, how Kone Ibi Abukarim uncuffed me and kept me for and kept me inside this office for some days. I I also want to beg the Nigerian army to post the outcome of the investigation on all social media platforms so that the whole wide world will know what really transpired between myself and Abukari and what led to my discharge. I'll be very, very grateful if my request, if you people consider my request. It's so sad that this lady, you know, how they quickly to damage her future, spoil her name, defame her by publishing her full name. Meanwhile, these officers were not published. There is no further investigation of everything this lady has said. There is nothing. She's not getting justice. That is why they just came out to say, oh, she is mentally unstable. Nobody should listen to her. Uh, even before they kicked her out, they shake her mental head. She needs to come back. This lady that you are seeing here right now, this lady, does she talk like somebody who don't know what she's saying? Because she's coming out to expose the Nigerian uh, army force. She's coming out to expose things that is happening in the dark. This is why they are now referred to her as mentally unstable. What about how many female soldiers? I find it like you go dress with yourself. How many female soldiers that have these people have on life? Just like that. You guys approved my request. I also want it to be published on all social media platforms. Same way I was published that I've been dismissed. Yes. And I don't have enough to say in this video. Um, on behalf of my, on behalf of I and my family, we are saying a big thank you for you know, posting my name, Oguleye Groot, at the mention of my name, everybody began to speak in different tongues. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you, sir. Big that general, Oyema Chuku. Thank you. God bless you. Onye Machuku, you do this because not be your daughter now, not be your family member, not be your friend, not be your cousin, not be your brother wife. That's why, because she's a nobody. She don't, she don't have anybody there. There is no connection. Her family is not, is not rich. There's no billionaire in her family. That is why this thing can happen to her. So when you are a common person in that country, hmm. That is why her security department allowance for the period she served, which is five years, 54 days, Imagine. has also been paid. The decision so she served for five years, 54 days. You guys can remember everything about her. She has served for five years, 54 days. Somebody has served like that. She has not treat her case like nobody. Then what about a common person? What about a common person? If somebody like this can be treated this way i feel for this lady but right now the way it's standing means that no justice guy drop your opinion justice for roots if somebody who's, who was a soldier can be treated this way what about you and i what about the common person thank you like and share follow my page subscribe